Hey, welcome back to the channel. On uh, this episode, we're going to discuss a popular topic uh, which had got me to do now two videos, and this is going to be number three. And obviously, for those who are interested, search through my channel, and I'll do my best posting this stuff somewhere in here with the bubbles or something uh, where you can see the part one, part two to give you more ideas on what's going on. Um, but this one will simply include the parts that I'm using and what we're getting out of this. So let's get this uh, figured out. So the whole goal is, and I have already gone ahead and tried to make things happen a little bit so it's faster. So the whole goal is to get a 90 degree fitting to make it a quick release for your um, setup. And I'm going to show you where I'm talking about. For those who are not aware, trailer that I built and we're running a Camp Chef and yeah, we got visitors here. Come on guys, get out. So Camp Chef, Mountaineer, Camp Chef, um, Everest that I'm using on my rig. But <clears throat> what I wanted to do is basically be able to do a quick fitting with a quick fitting hose that comes as a supply. Because this way I'm able to remove the stove, put it on a table if I need to, um, or use it here. But be able to basically remove it anytime. So instead of having to um, do the threaded part, which the reason comes to this is number one, having the ability of 90 degrees instead of the hose sticking out this way. The other thing is when you do this with your fitting every time, the rubber whether you know rubber rings the seals in there they were out number one number two this thread here because it's fine and this is all brass so it's, this is all soft metals um it it starts giving you trouble eventually so what it, what's happening is basically you know occurring leaks um over tightening of the bottles and this and that i mean you know you go into it so i think if you have found this video truly i'm gonna say if you have found this video and you have been searching for this answer, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, well, maybe you're not camping enough, <laughs> using your gear enough, uh, or simply um, you haven't had to come into this certain instance or trouble. Like I said, in my case, I did not want the hose to stick out because all happening now is I'm going to do this one hand with a knee support. There, boom. My propane is on, everything's working fine. All I have to do is just turn on the two and a half up in the front of the trailer, and this is ready to go. If I don't want propane flowing this way, I just shut this valve off. But this is where we're gonna go back to the shop and talk about reasons why you do it this way. So I have not found a 90 elbow, as you're looking at this one, that will work for Everest stoves because they all are like the Blackstone, I think they're called, um, 17s or 22s. So if you look at this thread pitch on the inside of this one, that's rough. Well, this guy is um not as rough or smaller steps smaller thread inside let me make a pause put this thing on a tripod so we can have two hands working here all right so i'm gonna go back into the parts and i will link all this off of amazon links so this came from here so the the thread part and then spring parts in here so if you were to go back to the factory so it will arrive to you, obviously threaded on. I was able to figure out, oh, I don't know if this one is, yeah, but 12 millimeter goes on here. It won't go this way, but it will go this way. You can only go so far to it where you still have the remainder of the thread that will go in. Now I'm putting this backwards, as in, not backwards, I'm putting this back how it came to me, right? So this is how you're gonna get this adapter. Again, link will be in the description. If you get this adapter, look at the thread pitch here. And now you're looking at the thread pitch here. 
Can you see the difference? This one's more coarse, this one's more fine. The top one is more fine. The one on the top is one you need. Also, if you look inside, those uh, Zerks or whatever you wanna call them, they're different. This is the one that's Everest needs. So this one will work on your Everest stove to attach a hose adapted to your propane tank or this one will attach to a green can, the one pound, uh, the pounder can, right? But our goal is to make this into a quick disconnect for either trailer or for your overland rig setups. And I'll show you how I have it done on my rig so to give you an idea. So right now we're gonna just simply talk about how to make this into what we need it to make. There's a lot of people who are like, hey, I'm Nixon, you're missing steps and they're being frustrated and I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, shit, pardon my French. I'm not getting paid for this and you guys need to figure this out a little bit. This is a DIY project, so do it yourself. So anyways, if you have Nipex, that's great. If you don't have any other ones, use something to grip you know the very top keep in mind this is brass so it's soft you do not want to be like pressing it and hurting it and breaking it and busting it, whatever but you want to be able to take this off whichever way you know put another wrench on here put some sort of a clamp don't don't bother with this part because if you go like this here then you're gonna have problems you do not want to nick or neck this this needs to remain smooth and perfect so best way to grip with something like this over here and then try to unscrew it or put it into vice so now that we got this part loose we can get this one loose. Now this one comes in loose easy because this part just slides way down, allowing you to get access with the wrench in here. Again, I'm using a 12 millimeter, some sort of a standard will probably fit in here. And then all you gotta do is just basically take this guy off. Now, once this is removed, that's all you need, right? Let's clean this out a little bit. There's a little Loctite in there, you could see. So technically this should, go right on it do you see how i'm doing this i did not rethread anything i didn't do anything and if we take this off and just double check something uh oh i got a little sliver here hold on if you put these one on another just confirming that the thread pitch is the same of the tube that you removed from the one you're going to put on Right, so this was removed from here. I know this is one too many components for some of you maybe, right? This is the one that's not gonna work. That's the one you're getting rid of. You're getting rid of and moving. This is the large thread one, coarse thread one. You're putting that away. But you need to make sure that the threads are all the same. Next, we need to make sure we're lining this up the right way. So in our case, we're going like this. And we're going like this, right? But if you go down, be able to just screw this on. Now, before you screw this on, put some Loctite on there. Let me get that. Hold on. There are different ones. This is a 262. This is 272. For some reason, I read up and this was supposed to be uh, something better. For some reason, I bought this one. But I still think... I have some of this remaining so make sure you don't get inside too much there just get it on the actual thread because this will lock in any possible propane trying to escape through this connection that's one of the reasons we're using this right so again make sure you get this lined up the right way then we're going to put this guy in here you know make sure it's threading Use the 12 millimeter or whatever else you want to use, and you're just gonna keep going like this. That's all you're doing. Boom. See how that fit in there now? Get in there nice and snug. Don't overpower it. Brass gets loads very easy. So now you got yourself that 90 degree fitting. This all can be reused in this way if needed. I mean, I don't know. I have no, I have no use for it. We're gonna go the right way. So we're gonna go like this. I've been collecting them now. So 
so you want to know how much it costs to make some of the videos like this much you gotta go prototype 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 none of this stuff is returnable after you do it uh none of this stuff well some of it is returnable but once you do this you can't really return an item that you modified i mean that wouldn't be fair right in any case do your own due diligence of figuring out you know how many fittings and what things you can do see some of this even gone through this stage but anyway, now we have a ready piece that I can show you how that works. So stay tuned again. All right, you know, you gotta have the, the viewers always, right? Somebody to make it. So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up, and I'm hoping the mic is doing the better job so you're not hearing all the ambient noise. So I'm gonna try to show you guys how I set up my kitchen. So the reason why things are done the way they're done. So my pull, pull out drawer system, let's see, are we getting into the shot, the whole thing? Yeah, pretty close. All right, so in the working mode, this thing will have it open like this. This is countertop space is always extra and great. Anyways, we don't need that right now, but we're gonna go into the actual stove setup. And when I'm talking about stove setup and I'm talking about the actual 90 that we were just built, this is what I have, and the reason I have it. So, see how it's always just connected? Like, literally, I, don't, I can't even tighten, I can't do nothing about it. So now I'm going to loosen this one up. To give you a comparison to show you how things are same or similar or different. So you will find some this way, some that way. But, this is supposed to work, and I sure am hoping this will work. So this is quite a bit longer of a stem. I mean, not a whole lot, but it is longer. So my thing is, like I said, I don't want to be, a, you know, removing this part. I just want to be able to do that. So let's put the supports for the stove. Don't judge it too big, too much. This was my first build of a drawer system so it's done the way it's just done so drawer is in the way the hose works i have it on a 30 psi but you only need probably 10 to cook if you want to utilize the really high power btu part of your stove so we're going to attach that boom Next, you know, you have to have this guy closed here. And you're gonna attach that to your stove. We're gonna turn on the propane here. And I think you'll hear, let's see, I need to loosen some of this stuff up because I wanna get you guys the right angle. Here, burp, burp, burp. bear with me. Oh, well, there we go, as soon as I open it over there. So, do you hear the noise? That means we got a working connection. All right. All right, so you got flame here. I'm at 10 PSI. I just cranked it up to what 15 and I'm getting a big old fire here so this valve will allow you to control this but if you're cooking on 15 psi oh crap I think you can run a big old grill skillet something on here and uh, make things really really hot but in any case this is not the story about the stove this is the story about that connector once you're done, all you do is you go, boom. You disconnect this, shut off your propane, and I should be recording this probably, shouldn't I? So again, we disconnect that. We shut off the propane. Disconnect the hose. Come on. Pack this in or pack this out. 
and you are good to go. So, we have an extra 90 now. I don't know what to do with it. Should I give this away to somebody who really wants it? Or if you want to buy it, I'll sell you for parts and labor. I don't know. Whatever. If you don't want to make one, hit me up. First person to uh, make the cost of the two parts, which are going to run about 30 bucks plus shipping. This is yours. So let's put ours back. The oldie goodie. So that one's going on uh, two years. I mean, I've disconnected it from here maybe I'm gonna let this cool off before I put anything away um, so that's been that connector has been running probably for about two years now being turned off maybe or turned you know removed only a uh, handful of times again let's go through the process Yes, this video might be annoyingly long, but the reason for that is that for those who are doing this when it's midnight and you cannot get your answer right away from me, that's what happens. So, uh, this one that I just messed up. So this one still hasn't been touched yet. All right, this one will work, but it's got a coarse thread. Oh. This is the one that's already been used. You can see it being removed. This one's still glued up, so this is another unusable one. Another unusable one. So, in any case, what we got is what we got. So this is to be set aside and this is the used one. Okay, I will be putting the links below so you can get this elbow you're simply gonna twist off the original part you will have a spring in the back in the back here in this section and when that is done you're gonna remove the same two pieces off the regular the tubing part here right they should match the thread at least in my case use some loctite get this nice and tight Twist it on, like I said, 12 millimeter worked for me here. Perfect. Once Loctite is dry, and dries pretty quick, your fitting is done. And then all you have to do is just follow some links on Amazon or on my video to get the adapter for your hose, the quick release here for this part. I mean, my goal of this video is to show you guys how to get this section here to be fine thread and have that little part inside to fit the ever stoves thanks for tuning in look at the direction or uh, description for the links necessary to make this happen uh, and we'll go from there thanks all